Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Iadore, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord Difficulty. Uh, today, I think this is the first part where we are really starting without any targets at all that would uh, be like definitely doable. We really have options like we could try conquer another province, we could try these undead, and we could maybe even start thinking about the prince's lands, but that's something uh, I don't want to try yet. These fights would be extremely risky, maybe even too risky yet, so uh, I was thinking about our options before I started recording and I'll actually start exploring with our main hero. Uh, in the previous part, I was thinking about uh, going uh, for this for this ancient crypt immediately, but um, I was told that uh, these locations that spawn from uh, uh, events uh, are most likely tier four. I'm not sure if it's guaranteed, but uh, uh I am willing to like trust you on this. I usually don't pay attention to these things and to usually I don't have to rely on just one location that randomly spawns. So yeah, this is maybe the first time ever I played uh, or during the time that I played Edor when this uh, might be relevant what tier locations that spawn, uh, spawn from uh, events are. So we'll just wait, you won't go there yet. Uh, instead, we will finish exploring this province. It's only 19% to go, so with both heroes exploring, it's like three turns. And hopefully we find uh, some extra locations, uh, at least one or two. And once we are done here, we will move this to this province anyway. So uh, then we can check uh, those undead and we'll find out if it uh, is tier 4 indeed or uh, if it's uh, like proper tier 2. So let's start. Hit that explore button. And um, for now, I'm not gonna build anything. Maybe I should just check if we have all the buildings that we need. We do. And I'll save some gold. But most likely, the next building we want to get is Illusionist, Illusionist Guild. So, with that guild uh, and with the 80, 80 gems that it costs, we'll drop quite low. Uh, at least when it comes to our gems. We still have the plus, the plus 10 gem income, but with all the gems that we are using on every fight now, I will have to be careful. If we run out of gems on this shard, then we are really, really screwed. So let's uh, end the turn, and fingers crossed. I mean, we need locations desperately. That's the mage, didn't find anything. That's the scout, didn't find anything either. Okay, first turn didn't give us anything. Let's try... Again, come on guys, you can do it. Three, and Dark Cave. What is, oh, orcs. Hello. I definitely want to do that. We did that before, and it was a good fight. So let's go for it again, and we are at 95%. Hopefully we'll be able to finish it on this turn. Mm, spells, spells. Let's check spells first. We can get... One more. Let's grab one more fatigue. Probably. I think this is what we go with. Just thinking if in case there are some more ogres, if we can handle that, but it should be fine. Go. Yep, there we go. Ogre, perfect. This is uh Really good fight for us. We need fights like this right now. We need to get maximum from every fight. Actually, maybe I want that uh, turtle back here. Let 
could maybe even do something like this. Now the hero is uh, uh, exposed, possibly, if they just uh, really want to get to him, they will. Uh, it should be fine. Worst case scenario, we just web something here and it'll solve the problem. Okay. Start has to be fear on the ogre. And how does it look like? I need to know about forced march. All these guys have forced march. But I think it's fine. We still have enough time before they get to us. Okay, hopefully the club thrower will just move on the hill and uh, do his ranged attacks. That's gonna slow him down. And again, this should split them into like three groups. It's gonna be one group, then these three, one, two, and three, will probably come together. And then uh, witch doctors. And uh, the ogre will be last again. Oh, you are not standing on the hill. Never mind. I thought this was a hill and uh, we'd be able to hit something already. Well, this is fine as well. I have too much stamina for one fatigue. Let's do it this way. Good. That's forced march, that's forced march. I probably should heal. And okay, they all have forced march. I think. I'll use another fear just to play it safe. Okay, this will be another fatigue. This is much easier than what I expected, but um, it's because of the effectiveness of our spells now. Burning 7 fatigue or 10 morale with just one spell, that is almost a kill against orcs. This guy doesn't have forest march, so he'll just uh, try to do some range damage. Something we don't have to worry about. What about these two? I have one more fatigue, so let's use it. I'll even move closer. Now, we still have to web the ogre, so we'll have to spend some gems, but let's try to save as much as possible. Ah, come on. I should have done it the other way around to guarantee a kill for our hero. Never mind. Okay. Now we just uh, recover a bit.
Ah, oh, whatever. Should be fine. I was gonna run away anyway now. So I'll just wait again. Just have to make sure that we are enough, that we are far enough so that he can't attack us immediately once he get, uh, gets the morale back. Should be a kill for the hero, right? Yep. Good, and we have a weapon failure, but it's probably just a dagger, and we don't care about that. Um, let's see. Hit point for you and will for victory order. I'll take that. I'd like to take the range defense, but I think can't pass on double stamina. Let's take that. What about the slug? Damage armor is not that important. But uh, the extra uh, damage from poisonous flesh sounds like a good plan. Definitely for later, once we turn the slug into the proper poison tank. And what, what, what did we get? Warrior's shield... Sorcerer's Stoke guy is probably an upgrade. And we found the Thieves Guild. Hello! And something else. He didn't finish exploring the province. We still have one person to go. But it's fine. We found two maybe targets. What is this? Three hit points. We have a better thing now. And the tunic. We can probably trade that to the scout. Actually, he already has the quilted jacket. Never mind. Battle mages and bandits. Tier two battle mages could be tough, but if we just uh, change to burn ammo, should work just fine. But I'll start it with battle mages anyway. We're gonna burn down the thieves guild. And we have almost 900 gold. But there's still nothing that we really need to build. Maybe the merchant's quarry to have some extra guards. Yeah. That's one of the basic buildings we probably should have but again i'll save the gold so that we can build illusionary skill illusionist guild uh whenever we need it how does it look like with experience hmm. still gonna need like two fights to get the level up Wow, Ballista is unexpected. But only seven units, nothing really dangerous. Two, four, six. Too far away. Okay. That's enough, and now we need to do something about about what? Probably about the tug. 
And this is a good way how to get rid of a tag. Four, six. Okay, that's fine. I just have to make sure the boss that doesn't hit our healer. You guys can now kill the assassin. And the fight is over. Excuse me. Damn. So we can do it. Get a kill for the hero. Oh, we can even one shot the thief. That helps. And my cat is here. Oh, that's not gonna work. Now with the new mic, that would be too much. You can probably hear her in the background, she's bored. So, she's trying to convince me that the best thing I can do right now is to probably go play with her. Well, I'll have to wait like 20 minutes. What does it look like with the ballista? One more shot. Oh. Okay, come on. Let's do this as fast as possible before it can get too much ammo back. There we go. Uh, what did we get? Um, another level of regeneration. Um, we want to get as much regeneration as possible, so I'll definitely take it. What else? Double stamina here. As I'm not prioritizing the forest march too much for units uh, that start with two movement. And for the healer, extra ammo. Long stuff. Huh. And uh, the worst armor piece for armor for warrior that you can probably get. This one is so bad. And burn the den. Here is the extra income. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we're gonna hire an assassin to solve our problem. And now. Do we have, or what do we get from the dagger? Attack, counter attack, poisonous attack, armor piercing strike. Nothing we really care about. I'd really rather get the stamina. It's just one point, but it's more useful than anything the dagger gets uh, or gives us. Oh, and we lost the sphere of knowledge, so that's the uh, weapon that broke. Never mind. How expensive expensive would it be to get to market too expensive? Six hundred fifty, something like that. Can't afford to pay that. Maybe I'll just build the illusionist guild so I don't have to still think about it. I can't spend the gold, I can't spend the gold, still don't have the illusionist guild. Maybe I can do it this way and um, actually this gives us access to illusionary battle. I should have done that sooner. Forgot about the ritual. Can we afford to use it? 30 gems we can. Uh, hit point. And the next fight are battle mages. So before that we have to visit the library. And for battle mages we definitely don't need fear. But what we do need is burn ammo. 
I just hope that uh, uh, those are just tier 2 battle mages. Maybe instead of the last fear, I'll take one more astral energy so that we can uh, boost our resistance if we need that. Might be dangerous because uh, you're fighting in hills, so they will most likely have the extra range. <laughs> Come on. Oh well. Can they reach us? Two, four. Two, four, five. Hmm. I think the best option here is just to spam the burn ammo on everything. I was thinking about moving forward to the slug. Tanks on the edge. Maybe I'll still do it. They can't kill him in one turn. And I don't want all of them to uh, to move closer to us. The damage they can do, we can heal easily. Um, oh, no, no, no. I saw that uh, this guy had five ammo. Okay, let's do one more, and we can probably tank the damage from the uh, last two, and there'll be some curses, and no matter what they decide to shoot at, we can heal through it. I just want to save gems. The slug actually is not bad. You know, he has three medals. And with three medals... I mean, attack and counter attack round 15 with three wills for victory order kind of sucks. But um, for a slug, he's not bad. For a tier 3 unit, these stats suck. But for a slug, it's not horrible. And once we get... Um, to the proper build, to the proper support spells, and enough poison, it'll be fun playing with them. Uh, what do we have? Oh, here is the command. There we go. And level 4 Thaumaturgy, rather than the spell power. Don't really need our spells to be stronger. We need to be able to uh, use our spells against targets with uh, higher resistance. So let's do that. And the random ring we don't really care about. Okay, so this province is clear. Here we have to start exploring. And now... I think we have to go back to our capital. Repair, sell all the items that we have and get the second healer. Then we can go back and... Um, Check the undead, probably. Come on, come on. We really need to find more locations, because we are already done with two provinces in the second train. We have only two left. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Soul corpses to necromancers. I'll have to remember that this is not worth doing. I always forget about it when I need gems. I sell those corpses and it uh, 
lowers the population mood so much that uh, that I have to use all the gems that I get on uh, on uh, extravaganza just to fix the population mood and might not even be enough. Okay, at this point, might be worth building a theater. We'll get some gold from uh, those items that we are about to sell. Unholy Shrine, sounds good. Magic Tower, sounds good as well. Uh, tainted, ones, tainted ones, really? Metal Mages, Metal Mages should be fine as long as it's uh, tier 2. Standard ones could be a problem. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. Sell all these items. How much can we get for the, for the Ogre's Mask? 75 and 3. Yeah, definitely gonna sell it. 27 for the dagger. And 30. I have no idea why this thing is so expensive when it's so horribly bad. Okay, let's repair the gear. It is expensive, but I have no idea how long it's gonna last or take before we get uh, to the capital again. So let's do it. Uh, don't have to worry about spells. We'll just build a library here, but what I want is the healer. There we go. Okay, anything in the capital? Thinking about clerics. I'm actually do it. Might be possible. Just go with burn ammo, get rid of the white wizard. The most dangerous is now you would have clerics and they still can hurt a lot. The problem would be uh, their range, they'll be able to focus on just one target. Probably too risky at this point, still. But we are getting closer. I think we just clear this province and then we go for clerics. Then it should work. Those few extra levels. We hopefully get here, should get us through this fight, and that's gonna be a nice boost uh, to both uh, our economy and our experience. Okay, can we get um, this province in one turn? We can't. And we can't build Driver's Guild to speed things up. I'm not sure that I want to use Fair Wind, but um, kinda need to speed things up as much as possible. Let's use it. I just hope that uh, we won't need in the last, uh, how long, 10 turns, 9 turns. Because you're going to be in the corner and if uh, we get attacked, but we won't get attacked. No, nowhere near. Here is a blue line, I think. Here. But it should go this way. So the middle of... The map is still empty. No, don't have to worry about anyone coming. Okay, where do we start? We start by building a library. That sounds like a good uh, first move. And then we go for battle mages because we already have the spell set up for it. That. Come on. You're in the second ring. Uh, getting tier 1 fights here. That is a problem. It 
it's so few locations and provinces that we have available. We need to get uh, as much as possible from every every single fight that we get. And uh, all these tier 1 fights that we are getting it's instead of the proper tier 2 fights are waste. And make uh, things even more complicated. Okay, hopefully the next file will be better. What did we get? The Gifts of Earth, that's not bad. Probably gonna cause that immediately. 2230, and we should get a lot more from it. We're gonna cast on the capital. Let's see, 355. Come on, going to 458. Well, at least get back would be invested into it some extra gold, so why not? Okay, let's check those undead. And for that, uh, what do we need? If it's tier 4 fight, then doesn't matter. We just can't do that. If it's tier 3 fight, we can't do that either. Unless I go like all in on sparks. That would maybe be enough to kill the ghost. I don't think I want to do that. And for tier 2, we just need uh, like one web to web a ghoul. I think I'll just take one extra web in case there are like multiple ghouls. Okay, so is it tier 4 or not? It is, so you are right. I had to check it. At this point we can't afford to uh, leave uh, locations that are possibly a target unchecked. Now we know that uh, we can't do it, so let's just uh, get out of there. Some extra gold, why not? And scouting too, thank you. That's helpful. Let's check those tainted ones. What do we want to take for tainted ones? Uh, web... Definitely, I probably don't need to burn ammo. If only I remember what exactly those tainted ones are. I think I'll take one more zombie and a sleep. And maybe even a slow. I really don't know what to expect from tainted ones in second train. Tainted ones are quite rare and usually I get them in uh, like higher or as higher tier fights when um, the only thing I worry about are, I like, tainted unicorns, treants, and dragons. And tier 2, I don't know if I have to worry about the fight or not. I guess we're gonna find out right now. There's tainted unicorn. Yeah. A zombie and ghoul, it's nothing. Let's do it. Let's kill a tainted unicorn. I just hope that we can get through his resistance. Where are you? Eight. Let's test it. We can test it with a... Actually, I probably don't want to test it with a slow. How fast is he? Three. Most likely it's gonna be one, and then he's gonna hit the turtle back. I kinda want to slow down the ghoul. Want to 
unicorn to get to me as fast as possible, and I want to kill it before I have to find anything else. Okay. And how does it look like their stats? Minus three. Good. That means we can get through the resistance, which means we can uh, use VAP on him, or should be able to use VAP on him. Let's poison him. Problem is he won't be able to heal after this attack. Oh, interesting. Turning around. Let me see. We have four VAPs. Oh, no, he's resistant. How? Shouldn't be. The problem is we can't heal him now. I mean, can't heal the turtle back. Oh man, this is gonna be a problem. I'll have to vap the zombie. This is the best I can do, and I don't think it's enough. Six, three. Oh, that's gonna be close. I have to attack. Okay, down to five. Now we web the zombie. Can we kill it? How many webs do we have? Three. I have to avoid taking damage. Everything that has the tainted debuff has to avoid as much damage as possible. Here we can heal. So let's do that. much damage can we do? Not enough, most likely. Probably the only option I have.
Okay, next turn we have to use Astral Energy and we'll just have to heal through the damage on the Ghoul, but that should be doable. Okay, one more turn and the zombie stays vapped. Can't afford to do this attack. One, one. Hey, you are not tainted anymore. Perfect. Let's heal. Now we can finish the fight. Uh, that was scary. But, again, we managed to get through the fight. Let's check uh, our rewards. How does it look like here? Let's take resistance. Oh, it wasn't too much. And uh, the loot kind of sucks. I'd expect more from a fight like this. It was a tier 2 unit, tier 3 unit. But well, I should be just glad that we managed to get through without losses. Well, the problem is that we, again, don't have any targets. So the next part will start uh, the same way as we started this one. You're gonna be exploring with both heroes. Just hope that we find something and slowly keep leveling. Thinking how many levels we have to get to be able to get safely through uh, the tier 3 fights. Brigands, maybe Brigands uh, are fine right now, but uh, like, oh, come on, this is not what I want. Those clerics uh, here, Prince's Lands. Hard to say, I might be forced into these fights sooner than I would usually do it. But well, from comments I know that you guys like that the game forces me uh, into dangerous fights, so... We'll probably have um, a lot more fun on this shard. I will see about that. Uh, I still hope that I'll be able to find something to make uh, the progress a bit safer. Um, but anyway, we are done for this part, so I hope that you liked it and that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.